Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So a few weeks ago you saw me make this fluke mold, so it's time to make something out of it. First I decided to spray it with a mix of water and dish soap to work as a mold release. I let that dry and proceeded to apply different pigments into my mold. I used my Arteza rubber sculpting tools and brushes. I mixed some silicone and colored it with Arteza mica powders and some acrylic paint to help it cure. Then I applied it to the small dots in the mold. I found these blue silicone scraper things in Poundland and I really like using them. Silicone doesn't stick to them and I used the big one quite a lot with this project. Of course, if you plan to work with marine safe silicone caulking, it's important to stay safe. Wear a mask, do it in a well-ventilated area and work in small sections. Filling the whole mold once took me around two days. Also wear protective gloves, I'm being very irresponsible here working with my bare hands. Now you can see me apply pigments to the rest of the mold. Don't put it on the back of the silicone that's already in the mold though, cause it won't stick to the rest of the piece. I learned it the hard way. So for the swirly things, I used darker pink pigment, I think it was pink flamingo color from the Arteza mica powder set. And for the rest of the mold I used this white looking pigment that has color shifting finish to it, so it shifts from white or transparent to purple. up a batch of silicone and the effect I'm going for is pink marble that's why you can see me changing color of the small parts of silicone I applied the middle part and smoothed it out with my fingers dipped into water and dish soap mix. This prevents the silicone from sticking to you and makes it easier to smooth it out. I used the same color for all of the swirly parts. For the rest of the fluke, I mixed this gorgeous icy pearlescent pink color that I'm so in love with. I worked it in small sections again until the whole thing was filled in. And look at this color, so pretty.
Now it's time to unmold it. I rub my fingers on the sides of the mold to loosen up the silicone and then slowly start pulling it out in a rolling motion. So I actually shared this unmolding from a different angle on Instagram, so make sure to follow me at passionfruitdiy1 for behind the scenes and random mermaiding posts. And voila! As you can see, the silicone pulled out some of the resin my mold was glazed with, so I had to clean it up. This blade tool was quite helpful, and I also used some packing tape later on. Then I took the fin into the shower to get rid of any resin leftovers, and it also got rid of the smell right away. And here's the fluke. I really like the shape of it, but it has some imperfections I had to fix. Here you can see me fill in gaps and shaping them to match the intended shape. I also glued down any loose parts of camera. And this is how this part turned out. It still needs some work, but good enough for now. I honestly kind of regret using the color shifting pigment in the mold, because the back of this piece looks so much prettier. But I hope this gives it a cool effect in water. Also, none of the pigments get washed off in water as they're now stuck to the silicone, but you can also rub a little bit of clear silicone on top just to make sure. My mold was a big mess after the first piece, so I had to fix it up. I hoovered the resin leftovers, cleaned and glazed the mold again, and added some plasticine to alter the shape of it. Then I made another piece and this is how it turned out. These are meant to be a part of a tail I'm working on, but I won't be able to work on them for a little bit. I've got a video about the tail concept coming very soon and I'm really excited to tell you guys all about it and see what you think. But that is it for today's video, I hope you guys enjoyed it, check out my Instagram at passionfruitdiy1, like this video and subscribe for more, and I will see you in my next one, bye!